for this uh, special uh, seminar, we have two invited international speakers uh, from Japan. Our next speaker is uh, uh, Professor Mashuda from the Tokyo University of uh, Agriculture and Biology. He got his PhD from Osaka University in 1996, and he has been a research fellow in Osaka Hospital in 1996. And after that, he has been uh, in France. <coughs> from 2002 to 2003, and since uh, 2003, he's been the associate professor in the university, uh, Tokyo University in Japan. Very much, uh, much better in this case. So, <coughs> uh, Introduction, Dr. Harvey. Uh, my name is Masuda uh, from Tokyo. Uh, today I present uh, with this title. Uh, before my presentation, I um, introduce uh, where uh, I came from. Uh, I came from the Kogane city the, in the central of Tokyo pre prefecture, uh, the main, main uh, metropolitan area in Tokyo is a uh, yellow part. That's uh, uh, Kogane city is a uh, part from the, the center of Tokyo. And uh, the maybe you, you don't know the, the name of Kogane City, but maybe you know uh, the Japanese cartoon, the study of Ghibli was located in Kogane City. So uh, it's very close to our uh, university, this, uh, this uh, building is located. So because um, <coughs> today my talk is about uh, theranostics of uh, medical ultrasound, because my, uh, my major is medical ultrasound. And uh, but uh, uh, for your audiences, uh, it's uh, not. Sh um, uh, I, I don't have to explain much about theranosics. It's uh, artificial words combining a therapy and diagnosis, diagnosis. And now this word is uh, become very 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 popular. And uh, uh, according to the, my major medical ultrasound. Uh, once upon a time, uh, ultrasound is uh, a very major to diagnosis uh, because um, uh, non-invention now, uh, imaging is possible. Uh, the fetus can be visualized as uh, Professor Yamada like this. And uh, also the two-dimensional images now become the three-dimensional. And uh, also uh, not only diagnosis, but also the therapeutic application is now possible. Maybe you know very well about uh, high food uh, treatment. It's a high intensity focal ultrasound is possible by focusing a very small uh, focal area in, inside the human body. And the uh, prostate cancer was burned in this photo. And here it's a uh, burned area can be visualized as like this. But uh, my uh, standing, my position uh, is far from the high food because I don't like uh, so, so dangerous uh, after some focus point. So we are going to, uh, my, my laboratory is uh, aimed to, uh, to use uh, ultrasound uh, for drug delivery. Uh, well, uh, how, how we apply the uh, ultrasound to drug delivery is we use a micro bubble. Because micro bubble can contain the drug inside or on the surface. So, and also uh, ultrasound can propel a uh, very small object in the direction of propagation. So uh, once uh, microba was injected uh, uh, using a cat catheter here, and here is uh, the target area, target area means uh, cancer or tumor. And uh, between the tip of the catheter, catheter uh, and the target area, there is a distance in case, uh, there is a distance. Uh, in the, in the way to the target area, so, so there should be many uh, bifurcation of blood vessel. So each, uh, blood, uh, each point, each uh, bifurcation point of the blood vessel, uh, we are going to propel uh, micro bubble in the in desired direction and to uh, concentrate uh, more, much more uh, micro bubble as possible uh, near the target area. And then, uh, after accumulating the micro bubble near the target areas, uh, finally we are going to destroy uh, the micro bubble to spread the drug only uh, the target area. Now, uh, my laboratory is going to uh, consider this kind of system. Uh, today, I introduce uh, two uh, parts 
of the, the research group. And the first uh, uh, topic is active control of micro object using acoustic radiation force. And uh, maybe you know uh, also uh, well about micro bubbles. So originally, micro bubbles developed uh, for contrast agents uh, for ultrasound imaging. So it's a very safe, uh, very small bubbles, as a two or three micron diameters. And after injection of micro bubbles in the human liver, uh, the shape of blood vessel, blood vessel shape uh, can be visualized like this. And also, the, the, reason, why, uh, the reason why the micro bubble is uh, visualized so clearly is uh, because micro bubble oscillates itself by uh, exposure, under exposure of ultrasound. Because of this uh, theory is very uh, complicated, so I skip, uh, I don't go further. Uh, also, uh, the previous slide shows uh, the contrast agents. So, so our, uh, my uh, co-researcher, so who is uh, working in pharmaceutical science, uh, can develop the micro bubble or nano bubbles can contain any drugs inside or uh, on the surface. And uh, this slide shows the two kinds of bubbles. And so, uh, so this first bubbles show the uh, here and the surrounded by uh, lipid by layer. And the total diameter is uh, several uh, hundred nanometer. Like this. And also another type of uh, micro bubble is possible without a uh, lipid layer. Only the uh, shell uh, is possible. And uh, the size is uh, 0 0.5 na uh, micrometer. And we use uh, this these kinds of bubbles uh, try to control, try to uh, active actively control uh, the micro bubbles or nano bubbles. And also, this slide shows uh, uh, the theoretical expression about uh, the acoustic force. Because uh, normal acoustic radiation force uh, is pro uh, proportional to the area of the small object. So here's uh, the phi L2 uh, means the area from the ultrasound source. But uh, uh, considering the micro bubble or nano bubbles, this uh, area is very, very small. So acoustic radiation force is very, very small for micro bubbles. But uh, uh, micro bubble or nano bubble oscillates itself by, by uh, under exposure of ultrasound. So uh, the temporary the volume volume of the micro bubbles become bigger. So uh, the we call the biagnes force. Biagnes force can be uh, applied in this uh, kind of the, uh, control. And also the specification of the ultrasound is very difficult, but so I skip this kind of topics. Uh, this is our experimental setup. Uh, here we prepared uh, uh, artificial blood vessel by mimicking human blood vessel here, and uh, this uh, here also here, and this, uh, the blood vessel is uh, transparent. And here is ultrasound source. Uh, ultrasound source can. Um, Make a focus focal point uh, as the desired part in the uh, artificial blood vessel, and the micro bubble uh, in in flow uh, come from left to right and to uh, to show to to visualize in the middle. And uh, this is uh, uh, one of the champion data. So in my laboratory uh, five years ago, uh, here is a uh, artificial blood vessel which has. Uh, Multi multiple uh, bifurcation points. And here the first bifurcation, and the, uh, here the second bifurcation, two second bifurcations. And the microbe come from left to right, and, the, and here uh, the counter, counter, colored counter means uh, acoustic uh, uh, sound pressure, acoustic pressure. And here, one, one first pressure, the uh, microbe was propelled in the upper path, and the uh, microbe stream. Go, go here, and then at the second bifurcation, as another uh, focal point was uh, was propelled in the lower courses. So we, it's, uh, it was possible to actively control Macrobobos. Uh, here, here I show the video. Now the no ultrasound here. Well, only one ultrasound focal point here, and the microbe go this way and also this way. And so now uh, no ultrasound. Also ultrasound was. Uh, Quit. And the, the second, secondly, is uh, uh, the two uh, acoustic uh, focal point was applied. 
and the microbe will go this way and only this way. No other class. This is a demonstration of the uh, controlling microbubbles. And also, uh, in 2014, so we demonstrated the more difficult condition. And so here is a T form bifurcation. So the microbe will come from left to right on the upper, lower path. And we uh, there uh, in this experiment we uh, customize we uh, uh, control the uh, two vocal points simultaneously, and then uh, microbe goes to uh, on this way. So the turning uh, the direction of my, uh, the course of microbe bubbles. This is um, uh, the demonstration of the micro using microbe bubbles. And uh, now uh, we uh, our laboratory. Uh, try to control another uh, small object. It's a uh, thin catheter. The thin catheter, you know, uh, you can ima imagine the thin catheter. So it's very, very small diameter is under inside uh, the tube, small tube. And out of the end, uh, so in the minimum one is uh, 200 micrometer. And uh, this, this is also a theoretical expression that uh, to bending thin catheter by using acoustic radiation force. Here at the small uh, thin, thin catheter here, and the uh, ultrasound source um, maybe here. And uh, according to the uh, ultrasound uh, emission, the, the thin catheter should be bent in this direction. And this uh, is a um, video. Because I have a thin catheter here, so it's a very difficult to carry microbubbles, but, but uh, uh, it's easy to carry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, so it's a, uh, the video doesn't work, but the uh, thin catheter bent uh, in the left side. Sorry. Later, I will show you another video to, to bend the thin catheters. And second topic of my talk is uh, to try trying to construct the total diagnostic system to, to diagnosis by using ultrasound and also treatment by using ultrasound. And of course, uh, uh, to to realize uh, diagnostic system, uh, uh, so we have to know uh, blood vessel construction in three dimensional. So, but uh, uh, there are so many researchers using. Uh, CT or MRI to visualize a blood vessel, human blood vessel. But uh, we consider serologic uh, system using only ultrasound, not using CT or MRI because of the, uh, the cost performance and so on. Then uh, we realized, we, we consider to, to construct a uh, human blood vessel shape by using ultrasound. And uh, as you know, uh, ultrasound can visualize a B <coughs> scan and also Doppler of scans. So there, are, there are two different uh, types of, of scanning is possible. And the uh, B model scan is, uh, you know, the shape uh, of the internal organ can be visualized. But also, uh, Doppler mode can visualize a blood vessel, a uh, blood flow. And we are going to, uh, there, because there is a, a so, uh, uh, Insufficient point, so so we consider to combine the two kinds of uh, volumes uh, in the same in the same coordinate. And uh, this is an experimental setup to visualize uh, spiral tube uh, to to reconstruct the internal shape of the uh, ultrasound. And uh, inside the tube, the, uh, the human human mimicking blood uh, blood flow was produced, and uh, the dopra volume was obtained, also the B mode volume was obtained together. And uh, uh, as you can see, by combining uh, two kinds of the volumes together, it's a not so good result we consider, because uh, the property of the two kinds of uh, methods is difficult, different. So uh, we, uh, because, uh, because of time, I, I skipped uh, the details, but uh, uh, we collect 
uh, the shape of B mod, uh, B mod volume, unlike this. And also, uh, the Doppler mode volume was collected like this. And uh, finally, we combine the two kinds of volumes like this. And so uh, we can obtain the, the very, very uh, reproduction uh, shape of uh, spiral shape like this. And, uh, and this slide shows the um, uh, application to the human blood vessel. And red part it means a B mod plus red part came from a B mod B mod was sound and also a blue part came from Doppler uh, mod as found. Here the subject was my uh, laboratory students, so very healthy uh, blood vessel. Uh, so we, we now try to uh, investigate so more more uh, patient. Uh, we asking the medical doctors. So reconstructed blood vessel can be obtained like this, and uh, this is a medical doctor says that it's a very uh, good visualization. So yeah, now we are com 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 comparing uh, with uh, this uh, result uh, with a CT image, and uh, this is the final uh, application. So to to uh, to induce thin catheter in, inside a human, uh, artificial blood vessel. But also by using a medical robot. Uh, first, uh, artificial blood vessel was constructed by using a three-dimensional, uh, three, uh, 3D printer. Uh, now we can pre produce a very soft uh, material, very soft material, soft tissue uh, can be produced. So we produced a three-dimensional artificial blood vessel. This shape came from a pig, pig liver, and also. A uh, medical robot uh, has contained three arms like this, and uh, in the center, uh, ultrasound probe can be installed. And uh, this is a very recent uh, result. Here, uh, artificial blood vessel, oh, yeah, sorry, it's uh, here, and also reconstructed by uh, ultrasound by, by previous method. And the yellow part means uh, here bifurcation. And the yellow part should be uh, ultrasound transducer, which we, we should come. And also, here's the ultrasound probe to, to imaging here. And also another ultrasound source uh, to propel uh, thin catheter. And the, this image is uh, the um, uh, optical camera from the bottom of the water tank. It's here, you can, it's a very difficult to, but here, the tip of the thin catheter here. Here, now, now come here. But now, now ultrasound is applied, so uh, thin, thin catheter bent in the one direction and to, to be induced to the desired path. And here is the tip of the catheter here. The insertion of the thin catheter is by, it's, uh, manually inserted, but uh, controlling uh, ultrasound or this, this robot was uh, automatically. And finally, so. Uh, the thin catheter goes through the, the second, third bifurcations. And finally, the, the direction of uh, ultrasound pro propagation was changed here, thin catheter tip here, and then uh, try to induce in this way, like this. Yes. So uh, it's a very short uh, introduction, but uh, uh, we now we are uh, constructing this kind of research and a method uh, to totally theronistic uh, system using only ultrasound. Yeah. It's, that's all. Thank you very much. OK, thanks for the really wonderful and interesting talk. Are there any questions from the audience regarding this uh, very small microbubbles and mm -hmm. the, the irresistance of these bubbles? But very, very small kind of <laughs> that. Yeah. What's the size of your of the beam? Uh, it's uh, the out, uh, outer diameter is uh, 200 micron. So you can get a good resolution in terms of space if you have a really complicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's uh, now the very transparent uh, artificial product that okay. was used. So uh, in the f near future, we are going to visualize that. not only the product vessel, but also capital. By using uh, basic ultrasound. So I have a question. Yes. Uh, so if you I imagine this 
small catheter gets inserted into the patient in an actual clinical use inside the body of the patient, mm -hmm. how would that the ultrasound force being you know humped or the, because the tissue of the body would that have an impact on the ultrasonic force? Because yep. in your in your in your experiments, there's basically very thin water there. But in human tissue, mm -hmm. you imagine there will be a lot of uh, uh, impedance uh -huh. on the human tissue. Uh -huh. Would that have some impact on the delivery system? Okay, so uh, considering the penetration, you mean? So depths, depths, yes, depths, yes. depths can be controlled uh, by using, uh, because I, I didn't explain uh, precisely uh, we use the ultrasound source of the two-dimensional array. Mm -hmm. Array transducer can, can, can produce uh, any point in the dimensional and also the depths can be uh, adjusted oh. mm -hmm. also. So once uh, blood vessel shape was obtained, is a, once uh, the target point is determined, is a pro, uh, is a focal point can be produced. And the need, uh, is a, uh, of course, there is a limitation in the area. Other questions from the audience? Sorry, I have a question. It may be silly, sorry. It's just uh, I don't know this area. Um, can this method um, be used for gene therapy during embryogenesis? Mark? Yeah. Uh, you mean the, the microbe can contain something or yeah. including a gene? Uh, is it pre -site, I mean. Is it site-specific enough to yeah, go yeah. So, and target Yeah, specific? because I'm not so f f familiar with the pharmaceutical areas, but uh, my co-researcher from the pharmaceutical area can, can produce uh, bubbles to adapt some some, uh, some ligand or some, some many, many kinds of, the, I don't know how to, how to say it, the, the materials, yes, possible, I think. What yes. kind of... Uh, tissues these uh, bubbles could pass through is it just does it have to be just blood or could it pass through some other types of tissues as well yes like um, I was actually specifically thinking about neurons if that could go way like way small in a very small size that could pass through neurons and the ways that they are communicating with each other. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't catch you. So what's the size, what's the diameter of the neuron? Um, he mentioned it can go to nanometers, right? The size uh, of the bubble. The size of micro bubble is uh, 0.5 micrometer, so, so 500 nanometer. Okay. <coughs> yeah, 500 yeah. nanometers. Yeah. And is it possible to create smaller sizes, or are you working on... Uh, I'm not working is it, on... Is it possible exactly. to customize something for uh, a specific... Yeah, I asked uh, to customize uh, the, to the, the stronger sh shell or uh, weaker shapes. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, do, I don't, I don't but pr produce that by, by myself. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other questions from the audience? <laughs> if there's no more, we thank... Uh, Professor Mashu, thank you. Very interesting talk. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and then some